Hello everyone, this is Bob and Threadbear, and welcome back to Prey. Now, once again, we'll be going through a zero-gravity area, so those of you who are sensitive to that might want to skip this video as well, along with the next one. But at least for now, you can stick around because we haven't gone through the zero-gravity area yet. Well, what we have here is uh, basically a staging area. Equipment that you are expected to have while working in the guts. This is a uh, freight carrying area. It has no gravity because that's more convenient, but it also has uh, atmosphere in there. That's why it's enclosed. Because uh, that is uh, much more convenient for the workers who, you know, might get hit by something and... Requesting new operator. Plus, just in general, working with a full suit and helmet is kind of hard. Transdar Cobalt. Inspecting engineers who have suffered some wear and tear. Real soldiers and still done your aperture. At the very least, it's harder. Aww. That must be why there were flowers there, too. Eric, Berger, and Laurel. Coming through. Hmm. I believe Laurel works somewhere else in the guts area. Let's see, what else can I get rid of? Well, I've got some extra liquor, but I guess I'll find that later. For now, I've just got some more minerals. I have explored this area, so it's time to enter the guts. Microgravity detected. Well, that's not a good sign. Oh. That's Eric. So much for him. These tunnels run the entire length of the station. Mostly conduit carrying the bare necessities. Power, water, air. But operators also use it to deliver supplies from the cargo bay up to the Arboretum. Given the small number of crew assigned here, I would expect Typhon presence to be minimal as well. But that's probably a bad assumption. Yeah, relatively minimal, maybe? Apparently, aside from the uh, from the cargo bay and arboretum, which are at basically at either end of the station, the the uh, power station is just a bit down from the cargo bay, but it also connects to a couple of other places, like the shuttle bay, which is where some of the cargo comes in, along with um, well, psychotronics, which we just came out of. Presumably that's because they've also got a lot of stuff to do in Psychotronics, that a lot of cargo to carry here and there, or or maybe it's just uh, utility tunnels. Nice. Well, I say nice because the game just introduced us to Cystoids. There was a very good chance that I only just stepped outside earlier. And as such, this could have been our first introduction to them if we had stayed where we should have. Alright, let's uh, try and uh, thin the herd there. Now, it is useful to... Um, first all of the cysts first, before you go after the cystoids, because, as you notice there, the cystoids are attracted by movement, and that includes the movement of other cystoids. That's why they roam around in packs like that. Alright. 
Yeah, this is the area where there are really a lot of supply crates, so it's a good idea to remember what they look like by the time you get here. And I bring it up because, oh. I bring it up because I did not know what supply crates looked like during my first playthrough. And afterwards I realized, hey, I've been missing out on a lot of, damn it. I've been missing out on a lot of goodies. So that's why I don't want you guys to make the same mistake if you play through this game. Alright, looks like I've made it through the center here, but there's more than one way to get through these tunnels. There's also the side passages here, where all of the large pipes and uh, utilities pass through. And it's worth coming down here because there's a fair amount of junk you can collect. Well, hell. That teaches me for running at full steam down a narrow corridor. Luckily, the suit took most of the damage, and my uh, regeneration got rid of any of the personal harm I took at the same time. Let's see, I believe I am relatively upside down. But actually, these tunnels account for that. You'll notice that they've got uh, signs on either side that point inwards. So no matter what your relative uh, position is up or down, you can still read it. I mean, of course, you can also be sideways, but still, they've got to save some money. So I kind of failed to mention this back in the ship exterior. Oh, let me try this. Yeah. Wow, that's really effective. Let me throw something else. Oh, I don't have to. They all chased it to the end, it probably bounced back and killed the rest. Neat. Oh, but there's more cystoids. Yes, if you are not careful, and if you do not hold the break buttons, Q and E, when you fire a weapon, the Newtonian physics of firing something forward will push you backwards. You're not really seeing it right now, but that's because I do take care, and I am holding Q and E down when I fire. Otherwise, firing several, uh, several goo balls at once... Hmm. Otherwise, firing several goo balls at once will just sort of push you backwards, and uh, it's kind of bad if you're uh, not able to control your direction. Huh. Bounced off of something. I think I was just hitting the wrong button just now. But yeah, I mean, uh, it's a bit troublesome, especially if you, like, fire the shotgun and you're not bracing yourself for it. But it's kind of fun that they, uh, they keep track of that. Although it is odd that you automatically slow down at a certain point. I mean, this is velocity it's tracking, not acceleration. I wonder. Oh. Hey, it worked. It sounds like some other goobals just blew up. Yeah, I can get through here with hacking by finding that body that I found, or by stopping the fan from moving. Just uh, checking to see if there's anything else I can hunt for, and sure enough, there is also this side passage here. Doesn't look like there's quite as much as there was last time. But right at the other end, there is something. Ah, oh, spare parts. Useful. 
and a couple of crates full of good stuff that I can just sort of shove right past. But um, I'm not seeing a way out on this side. So either I missed it, or it wants me to go all the way back because this was a... Oh, no, no, there, there, there was one just there. Halfway down. Alright, that explains that. It's a way to get past some of the cystoids, but not all of them, unnecessarily. Assuming you don't just, you know, destroy them using any weapon at all, ever. Right. Figured it would be a good time to repair my suit. Oh, a bunch of cystoids just rambling around out here. And nothing to really throw at them, though. At least, uh, nothing that isn't already dangerously close to them. Alright, that's, uh, that's all the cystoids I can see from here, at least. Oh dear, they, they are getting pretty close. Come on. Oh, I hit something in the foreground. Oh, there we go. That set off a chain reaction. Now that I've got some breathing room, just to show you here. Manual override on the other side, just like usual. Oh, there's something zapping in the background there. Oh, and more cystoids inside the uh, storage or break area or whatever that's supposed to be. Looks like they're running out to join the herd. Oh, and here's something I can throw at them. Hey, cystoids. Have a great day. Well, that certainly caused a lot of destruction. Perhaps a bit more than I intended, in fact. But that's okay, because glue can also uh, block those fire vents. Let's get this one... Uh, Lone cowboy here. Alright. Now we can focus on what's left of the herd. Well, it might help to get a better shot if I'm closer. There we go. Alright, now let's just fix the, uh, the tubes here. There we go. And now we've got this electric panel over here that's causing some trouble. Looks like it's making the uh, door malfunction. Damn it. Goo balls are just gathering on the blades of this damn thing. There. Good to have pinpoint accuracy now and again. Right, so usual uh, fix for the electrical junction here. And looks like the door is still malfunctioning. Hmm. Well, anyway, um, monitor station, that's what this is. Fair enough. Nice. So that's the kind of thing you get by uh, checking all of the uh, supply closets. Oh, there's windows here. Amber-colored windows. wonder if there's something particular they're using as the substance. 
another side passage here, as usual. Gotta be careful here, there's a lot of obstacles. Oh, crap. I knocked that one corroded coil just down and away here. Ah, here we are. Yeah, you can see a lot of the exterior from here. Ah, cable. Or tubing, my mistake. Alright. This is the way forward, and this uh, fan looks a little more interesting. Found some stuff along the passage here last time. Yeah, and this one isn't working either, so we can pass through it safely. Alright, what have we got this time? I've got the still broken door, got an engineering operator, but. Huh. Looks like there aren't any cystoids for one. Oh! What just happened? Morgan, steady. That pulse hit your suit systems pretty hard. It came from the substation ahead. There's a magnetosphere around Talos 1 that keeps the sun from cooking your insides. Hopefully the generator isn't dying. For your sake, I'll be fine. Yeah, thanks for being specific there. That really helps. Right, so... Actually, it is necessary to stop into this, uh... Magnetosphere station. Let me just, uh... Check through the side corridor here. Oh, there is something out for that way. Another supply crate. With some junk in it. But still, you know, every little bit. I'm right here. But as I was saying, the magnetosphere generator, we do need to stop in here because someone in here has the key to the door to go forward. Gravity detected. Alright, here we are. Looks like the medical bay, huh. Yeah, medical bay is, uh, the door's broken, so there's really only one way to get in here. Which is to turn into a bandage roll. Now, we could get most of this stuff just by using telekinesis as well. But if we don't actually walk in here and pick up stuff, this, uh... That was pretty much the only way. Requesting new operator. Luckily, you just don't really need anything from in here. Transstar Pyramid. Maybe I can help. Nine zero medical class operator ready to deploy. Although that Please said. Hmm. There's a body in there. That said, I've been told that you can actually power turned off stations like the one that was in the, uh, in the corridor there by f hitting it with the stun gun. It could be that that is another way to get in. Oh no, that's weird. That fire should be going out, but it's not. Warning. Plasma shockwave imminent. Ah, oh, there's Laurel. Langley! Hey, what's the matter? He's... He's dead! Whoa, what? Who's dead? Anders! I tried to call the security, I tried... Do you need a medical team? I said he's dead, Langley! Right. Laurel, take a deep breath. Tell me what happened. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm so... I'm sorry. Anders went into the mag chamber to test one of the coils that's been flaking on us. I don't know what happened exactly, but there was a pulse. I think it cooked him in his suit. God, I'm so sorry, Laurel. Can you get up to the Arboretum? No, Anders had the key card. Okay, got it. Listen, just sit tight. Don't go into that chamber. I'm gonna find Chief Elazar. We'll get a security team your way ASAP. 
Warning, plasma shockwave imminent. Well, that pretty much tells the story right there. Warning, seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five, four, three, two, one. So, as you might have noticed, getting hit by the shockwave while you are behind the protective glass or barrier or whatever that is, that will disrupt your electrical systems, and you'll note I made a point of uh, showing off that status effect. Yeah, here's the plasma barrier. The sun's coming in from the left. That's why it just sort of bows out in that direction. Alright, let's, uh... Looks like Laurel's screen has uh, suffered some electrical damage, so the only way to get it in here is by hacking it. Luckily, I'm pretty good at hacking. Emergency supplies? Why is that in the magnetosphere chamber? Because, yeah, while you are safe. Oh, there's the door. Warning, seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in. Five. Man, that's an important Three. button. Three, two, one. Yep, and that's what happens when the magnetosphere pulses. And apparently this is not how it's supposed to go. It's supposed to be, you know, weaker and more manageable. But whatever's been going on with the station, with the Typhon, is causing some damage here. Ah, oh, Laurel and Eric again. And yeah, apparently there's some sort of hidden cache above me. I want to see if I can get up there, see if I can get it. After all, neither of them are going to need it anymore. Seek shelter. Plasma oh, EMP charges. Five, I'm not sure if that's it, though. I'm not sure if that's what I needed to find. But, yeah, right now at least, the uh, plasma bursts are... Oh, I can keep going here. They are shutting down my electrical systems, therefore all of my weapons, which use at least some electricity each. Anywhere else I can get from here? I'm not seeing anywhere else. But it does not actually harm me or damage my suit. That's important to note. Oh, here's another way I can get up. Warning. Seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in. Five. Four. Oh, crap. Three, Got a little too close two, to the fire. One. Shorted out my flashlight just now, too. Alright. Finding even more places up here. Still... It doesn't feel like a hidden cache. A bunch of electrical tubing like that. Is there anywhere else I haven't been up here yet? Can't really get past this. It's a little too narrow. Plasma shockwave imminent. What about behind here? Oh! Warning. Seek shelter. Oh, there is some stuff behind here. Four, three, two, one. Now this is a hidden cache. Shotgun, weapon upgrade kit, and... Hello. Thermal shielding. Suit chip set. Let's see. Oh, what can I live without? Well, that's pretty useful. Yeah. I don't really use alcohol. Doesn't heal that much. And I don't really need to turn it into anything else, because uh, I can just jump out from where I was. And hey, there's another station over here. Ooh, security station. That's useful. 
Got the area map, which is, as it turns out, mostly useless. It basically points out the few areas that are in gravity, but the rest of it is just service tunnel. One little circle. That's the surface tunnel. Warning. Seek shelter. Oh. Hello there, science operator. In five, four. Rising stars. Ah, a tabloid. I think I've seen this one before. One. Come on. Oh! Neat! Interesting place to hide it. Hmm. I didn't even hear it go off that last time. But yeah, if you hide behind something, something solid, you can avoid the effects of being hit by the uh, plasma wave. Warning. Right, so we got some cyst nests here. It's a little harder to aim with this thing now that gravity affects the the projectiles. Okay, yeah, the electrics going off is kind of dangerous when I am facing an enemy. Luckily, it's just a bunch of cystoids. Alright, looks like we've gotten up around here. Not that much to it, though. And you know, I get the feeling that that transition area there isn't necessarily the best protection. So I may not want to stand in front of it. Five. When the plasma goes off. Two, one. Right. So I can dodge in there, grab the thing, and dodge out, but I believe turning off the power. Warning. Magnetosphere deactivated. Solar radiation exposure at maximum. Right. Now that it's off. I actually have a couple of minutes I can use to get up here, grab some supplies. Ooh, wrench critical. Looks like that's it. So let's go find that dead body. Who was it again? Anders Klein. Ooh. Looks like he had something special on him. Alright, now that I'm safely out of there... I should probably do the station a favor and... Oh! Okay. Damn it! Stop dodging! Oof. Well, that kind of took me by surprise. Yeah, let's just end the uh, end the power off early. Do the station a favor. Ah, uh, that's better. Getting all my stuff back. Warning: plasma shockwave imminent. All right, let's let's get out of here. Seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five, four, three, two, one. All right. Finally quiet. And hello there, buddy. Technopath. Just like in Psychotronics, this here is an opportunity to get a free Technopath scan. 
Also, I've killed that guy on the exterior map, but he's still here. He'll always still be here, because there's no way of reaching him. Or her, or it. Nice stuff in here. Looks like it's somebody's break room. And, uh, yeah, they got a four-point harness there on the seat so that you can relax without floating around everywhere. Ah, yeah. Just in case you find the door before you find Anders. Oh, what's this? Don't let them do this to you. 